Hi, it's Monty with Flowers by the Bunch. Today I am going to show you how to make a beautiful arrangement in a container that you choose. This is actually a very large container that our one of our clients brought to us to make an arrangement for her dining room table. She asked that we make it in all white, so that's exactly what we're going to do. Now what I did was I added Oasis, just an Oasis bar down into the center of the container and I put tape, waterproof tape across the top so that it wouldn't tump, wouldn't fall out when we go to move it. It also, it's actually just a very large bowl that is sitting down on a um, stand. So it's, it's pretty sturdy and what we'll do is we'll fill the reservoir with water, fresh water, um, when we get it to her home. We just didn't want to spill all the water on the way there. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take, this is called Spanish Moss and I am just going to take it and kind of cover um, the edges of this container. What I'm afraid of is that this tape is going to show and that's certainly something that I do not want to show. So I am going to cover the edges with a little bit of moss. And it will stay in place once I start to put flowers um, in the container. Then I am going to take some large um, aurelia leaves and I am going to tuck those in first to kind of help cover that those mechanics. And I'm just going to go all the way around this container with these leaves. And I'm just going to twist it as I go. I love the size of these leaves and that they're just such a neat, they add so much to the arrangement. I have always been a fan of beautiful greenery. Um, I like to even make just arrangements of greenery. I think they're beautiful in and of themselves. And so then I'm gonna take just a few of these leaves and tuck them down in the center. kind of get leave them up higher okay so next I'm going to take large white hydrangeas this is just a a very large stem of white hydrangeas I'm leaving the foliage on because I want the foliage to stay and so I am going to I want it to have be full of foliage so I'm just going to use the original foliage that's on those hydrangeas Okay, so what I have done is I've placed hydrangeas all the way around in that container. And then I am going to take some snapdragons, just white snapdragons, and I'm going to give it a little bit of height. Not too terribly much. She's actually going to place this under a chandelier on her table. So it doesn't need to be too terribly tall, but to give it some height gives it interest in, and makes it pretty, I think. Okay, then I am going to take some white stock. Now one thing about stock that I love so much is it smells beautiful and it's a very full lime flower it's not like the snap where it's it's as slender as a snapdragon is it's more of a um a chunky lime flower i guess you could say but it smells so pretty and so i'm just going to tuck some stock into the arrangement i'm not going to give put the stock up too terribly high i'm going to do it more towards the base Okay. Then I am going to take, these are called, or 
oriental lilies and an oriental lily has a beautiful fragrance it's the lily that some people to ask you not to put in arrangements because it is very fragrant um, it will make the room it will fill the room with fragrance it's absolutely a beautiful flower you do not want to terribly many of these in an arrangement because it can overwhelm a small space but three or four stems never hurt anybody and it's absolutely pretty beautiful with the fragrance now stock is not like the oriental lily stock is not going to overwhelm a room with fragrance but if you if you got up close to it it does have a very pretty fragrance So I just took those lilies and I just tucked them just around in that arrangement. Now I'm gonna take Lysianthus, and Lysianthus is my favorite. Lysianthus is a very dainty flower that if you look at it really close, it, it resembles a rose a little bit, um, but then it doesn't at all. <laughs> But if you were ever to describe it, you would say it looks a little like a rose. The flower, the bud itself kind of looks like a rose in its petals. But my very favorite part about Lysianthus is it, it's fairly whimsical. It gives you a good flow. It, um, and then it has those great buds that give it, give it a lot of um, movement in the arrangement. I love to use Lysianthus in um, bridal bouquets too because the buds are just so fun in an arrangement. Lysianthus comes in shades of white. It comes in, they call it a lemon. Um, it's really more of a yellow butter, a buttery yellow color. Um, it comes in two shades of purple and it comes in a white with a pink tip, a white with a purple tip, and then um, a beautiful pink, like a baby girl pink. But it's such a pretty flower. It's hard to say I have a favorite flower, but eh, this is a top, a top contender on favorites. Lastly, I'm gonna tuck a few white roses. I really don't think that it needs much more. But I'm gonna tuck just a few white roses. I'm going to cut them fairly short and tuck them deep into the arrangement. You can see how I just kind of tucked it there. There are a few places in the arrangement that are kind of dark. They don't have any color like where I had the leaves. And so I've taken where it was dark there with that leaf. I just kind of tucked one there. So everywhere you go around, it, just look around the arrangement. If it looks like there's a dark place that ha it's just foliage, you can take that rose and just kind of tuck it in just to kind of give it that pretty light. And then lastly, I'm going to take just a little bit of seeded eucalyptus. And this seeded eucalyptus is going to give it more of a flowy feel. Um, seeded eucalyptus comes, it's just, it's, there's lots of different varieties of eucalyptus. The thing I love about seeded eucalyptus is it gives such whimsy to the arrangement. It's just a very drippy foliage. Um, and so I'm going to take it and just place it on the edges, just kind of around so that it kind of covers up my mechanics where I taped it in. But see how pretty it gives that little bit of flow? And I'm just going to do that in, in several places. I won't necessarily go all the way around the arrangement, but I'll just tuck it in to a few different places just to kind of give it a pretty flow. A 
and that's it. That's our arrangement for a beautiful dining table for her dinner party that she'll have. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of our videos, please like or follow us on Facebook and Instagram, and you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.